Hey, good day and good evening with the fuel fans and followers. This is just a quick little intro video to cut into the full live podcast video that we recorded earlier today. Obviously, that Facebook Live had major technical difficulties, which is why I'm recording this intro to you now. So big shout out to the fans and followers of Vinny Tortorich and Serena Scott Thomas, who is in this video that I'm about to cut to. We recorded a very, very important live podcast episode, which I'll be airing tomorrow on May 7th, 2018. Today is Sunday, May 6th, 2018. This is what hustling people and professionals do. We work on the weekends, we take action, we make things happen. Anyway... This video I'm about to cut to is the actual feed where we actually spent time recording today to help promote this big, big initiative around the importance of crowdfunding. Not just around the importance of crowdfunding, but around this specific Indiegogo campaign that Vinny Tortorich has officially launched with his director, Peter. And we are basically putting all of our efforts behind helping promote this new crowdfunding campaign that's going to be happening the rest of May into June 2018. Why? Because the subject of healthy fats is important. So important that we are promoting a brand new documentary initiative here called Fat, a documentary. So you'll be able to learn a lot more here in a few seconds, but again, just wanted to give a shout out to Vinny Tortorich and again, Serena Scott Thomas for being patient earlier while we recorded this episode. So anyway guys, without further ado, enjoy the rest of the show. I'll talk to you guys later. corn syrup into everything has uh, eventually caused us to become uh, fat and sick as Americans and as a world because whatever we do here seems to meander and, and infiltrate the rest of the world. Uh, so that's what's going on and uh, you know as you know Scott around NSNG I created a, a book uh, Fitness Confidential that became a big deal and, and the podcast um, of the same name, Fitness Confidential, became a big deal. Um, but then I started looking around at all of this, pro and I call it propaganda film. And unfortunately, I, I have nothing against vegans, but a lot of it comes from the vegan world, you know, where, you know, they'll put out, you know, things like cowspiracy. And I, there's a lot of truth behind, you know, this, this kind of factory farming, and I don't believe in it. But they take it a step too far. They, 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 they go past factory farming. Forks Over Knives does the same thing. You, you see the same propaganda in every film. The factory farming thing, I think we all agree with. You know, no one likes it. We have to somehow fix it. And there's no quick fix on that. It has to go away. Yeah, it has to go away. But there's no quick fix. We still have to feed the world. And, but the vegans will take that as a, a springboard and then go into... You know, the fact that if you eat meat, you will die in five minutes. And that is not only a complete lie, but it's dangerous. And in this country, we allow doctors to do this type of stuff, right? Where they mm -hmm. can test, you know. All right, look, I think I fixed it. I think we're going to be live now on Facebook because Facebook's telling me yeah, that we are live. So go ahead and refresh your page, Serena. Kind of you guys are getting this live feed coming through right now? <laughs> yeah, now we do. It stopped for a while. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what was going on there. Yeah, so we gotta keep that quiet so we don't I've have like it. a double check. I'm done, I'm good. So uh, getting back to the story, you know, when you have people like Dr. Grieger, who I will invite on to the, the, the movie I wanna do, along with all of the vegan advocate doctors, you know, I want these guys who have been out there, I wanna hold their feet to the fire. I wanna ask Dean Ornish how he comes up with some of the erroneous views he comes up with. And uh, Michael Clapper and, uh, you know, Esselstein and, and Barnard and all these doctors who, they just wholesale lie to the public. And then you have movies like, uh, you know, uh, What the Health that just came out. That, you know, everyone on Netflix is going, oh my God, if I eat meat, I'm going to have pus in my system, according to this movie. Or if I eat one egg, is equivalent to five cigarettes. And Michael Grieger is saying, uh, if you eat an egg, you can get type 2 diabetes. And eating I, an egg is like smoking pack of cigarettes a no day. five cigarettes a day five cigarettes yeah a day. That, that blew my mind when they said that that's <laughs> not the smartest move i mean no. i've never i've never smoked a cigarette so maybe i just don't understand <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but but they make up these things and you know and i even asked another uh, i asked dr robert lustig when he was on my show i said um do you agree with michael grieger and he goes well he's got a point and this and that and the whole thing because doctors you know you know 
honor among thieves. And I said, um, how much, um, how, how much what? sugar, that's what I, well, I'm getting to it. How much sugar is in a, uh, an egg? He says, none. I said, well, according to Michael Grieger, it's a 70 on the glycemic scale. And there was just radio silence on the other mic when I said that. And then he said, really? <laughs> I went, yeah, this is, I want to hold these people's feet to the fire. Um, and not only that, I want to tell the true story. This is not some anti-vegan thing. I just want the vegans to come clean on what the truth is because you can be a healthy vegan. Um, I want to talk about cholesterol and the lies that the AHA, JAMA, World Health Organization, the ADA have all said about, you know, meat being bad. And, and, and how that lie came about. Yeah, yeah and, and we have all of this evidence uh, we have, uh, it's amazing. Ever since I said I wanted to do this documentary, I have doctors from around the world who are saying, hey, how do I, uh, uh, how do I be part of it? Now, we can't have every doctor on. It would be a 20-hour film. But we are going to pick the top guys in their profession and just do the best job we can do and, uh, and put out a movie that, will tell the story does that make sense well i think i think that's the point of a good movie right we're, we're learning from a story am i wrong meaning running from a story what well that's the point of a good documentary is that we're supposed to be learning the truth right right, right. no you're absolutely right about that we are you know we we you want to talk about ostriches you know, you know, sugars and grains have gotten us here. I mean, I, I, you, know, you can look at in California. Well, we make everything illegal here, but um, <laughs> except pot, you can smoke all the all the weed you want. Um, but we made goose, goose pate illegal. To you can't you can buy it here, but you cannot produce it here. And the reason for that is the only way to get goose pate is to force feed geese grains, which is incredibly cruel. And they said that wow. was quite an unusual punishment to an animal. But we think it's perfectly fine to force feed humans grains, uh, you know, which makes no sense. You know, we're looking out for geese, but nah, the average human, God, ah, go for it. Matter of fact, they tell us to double down on the heart healthy grains. None of it makes sense. I would agree. Well, I think the problem is also is that the reason why you have to be mindful of the goose is because the, the goose relies on us for food. Human beings supposedly have the choice to eat whatever food they want, but it is no secret that what they, the authorities, are telling us we should be eating is far from healthy. So, True. So in a, in a, essentially, human beings don't have the choice because until now they haven't had the information. And, and, and why Serena, haven't they had the information? They haven't had the information for all the reasons that Vinny is going to talk about in his documentary. And Serena is absolutely right. You know, uh, the one thing we have done very well in this country, you know, we can get down on Americans. Oh, we do so many things wrong. The one thing we've done with a, a, a great amount of efficiency is we have followed this food pyramid to the T. People True. are eating more sugars and more grains than you can ever imagine. Um, it, it just makes absolutely no sense. And uh, Serena can tell you, as long as she's been with me, which is about 11 years now, I've been yelling about this. And long before I met her, I was yelling about this. We have it completely backwards. And um, years ago, a guy like me was considered a kook. Now people are willing to come to, Serena says I'm still a kook. <laughs> but now willing to come to the table. Look, just yesterday, I was, uh, and this podcast is not out yet, but I was with my buddy, Dr. Drew, and Serena was there. Uh, Dr. Drew, I've been telling for two and a half years, almost three years at this point, uh, about eating this way. And he was like, I don't know, cholesterol. And Dr. Drew is one of the smartest doctors out there. Uh, cholesterol, cholesterol, cholesterol. Finally, he's come around the other way because another doctor finally agreed with me, and Drew tried it. He's, he's feeling better than he's felt in 20 years. He says he feels like a kid again. I was talking to Susan Pinsky. She goes, he's chasing me around the bedroom. You know, and he was 60 years old. And, and, you know, so his blood pressure is lower than his blood pressure has been lower. And, and all he did was cut out sugars and grains and started eating more meat. 
And uh, Susan said, the only problem with all this is that it's costing them more money. Well, cry me a river. Uh, <laughs> you guys have a lot of money. And number two, I think you're just worried because he's chasing you around the bedroom. You know, it's not about the money. Um, so it, it's all, you know, th there's nothing but good here. Uh, but I don't want to be the one shouting it. I want to get people on mic, on camera, talking about how we got it so wrong and how we can not only write the ship, but after we write the ship, turn it around and, and do a 180 and go in the opposite direction. But not only that, is that Vinny's inviting all of the people with opposing views to come on and calmly and simply date their case so that the viewer can really decide which one they put more faith in for themselves. They can make an educated decision. Well, isn't that part of, again, that goes back to our whole point of all this, right, is education. And that's, that's why I love this project you guys are doing. I mean, it's funny because, like, Vinny, you've been doing this longer than I have podcasting, right? It, a lot of people don't understand why we do this. I've only been doing it since 2016. You've been doing it a lot longer. Um, and the, the power of this type of platform is it's free content. Right. We're just trying to get a lot of truth out there and let, hey, listen, you may not agree with every single episode that you put out on your show or I put out on my show or the experts that we're trying to bring on to our shows. But either way, at least we're taking action and trying to put truth out there. And that's what is so powerful about something like a documentary film, because not everybody listens to podcasts <laughs> yet. Well, well, Scott, you, you, you're, you're right. Um, I, I have what can be considered a, a fairly large podcast. Yes. I'm also uh, a member of the largest podcast, according to Guinness Book of World Records. I do the Adam Carolla show um, once every other week for the past two years, two and a half years. And even with all that, all of that exposure, when your kid goes to school, they're going to tell your kid about heart healthy grains and everything else. So even with my amount of exposure, it's, it's nothing. It, it's a pimple on the ass of an elephant compared to what we have to do. And we, we just aren't there yet. And speaking of an elephant, sometimes I feel like an ant crawling up the leg of an elephant with rape on my mind. You know, it's just something that's not going to happen. And if we could do something like a, this documentary where we can break it out of just the small podcast world, by the way, which is growing bigger and bigger and bigger for all of us, for me, for you, for, for every guy. If you do a documentary and you distribute it correctly, you can end up these days on Amazon, on Netflix, mm -hmm. on an airline. Hell, I watched that sugar film on my way to England along with two or three other documentaries. I, whenever we have to take these long flights around, and we fly all the time as you do, I'm trying to educate myself with any documentary. I don't care if it's a documentary on, on African dance. I will watch it. You know, I'd rather watch that than, well, I do like rom-coms. But hey, that's a different <laughs> story for a different day. Cheerleader um, movies. I do love cheerleader movies where the nerd teaches everybody a lesson in high school. I love those movies. Um, but all of that, we, we need to get there. And, you know, up until now, just like you, just like me, we do these podcasts. There's no money behind them. Uh, I've never asked for money. Um, I literally for years came out of pocket on my podcast. Just recently, uh, does it make enough money with Amazon and everything to where I break even? Because as you know, I have a big, you know, I have Anna Vicino, I have Tallulah, I have all these people to pay Suzanne, uh, and, and all these people around the podcast that work for the podcast now, they all make a salary from it. I make nothing, right? That's why it's important that people give to this documentary so that we can break out of this little enclave and get it out to the rest of the world. And I think what's really important for people to, to, to kind of grasp is that we could pay for this film if we got the backing of, you know, the beef people, <clears throat> but we don't want to because we don't want it to be paid for by any, any specific company or group that has a big agenda, because we really want people to decide for themselves. We want people to really know that this is a completely unbiased uh, documentary, which will present arguments for all sides, whoever wants to come and talk about it, within reason, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, um, 
you know that the idea is that it is it is completely fair and it's an even playing field and that that people can make their own decisions after having watched this it would be pretty clear we think but you know we want to give people who have different opinions from us I think that's something else powerful about doing crowdfunding and using Indiegogo. I mean, Vinny and I were joking around about how, uh, you know, he doesn't have a ton of experience with crowdfunding, uh, but None. zero. None uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the power of this is that it's, it, it is a powerful platform and there are people who do have experience with it like myself. So it's like, let's take advantage of that. Let's get the voice of people who finally do want the truth and make it happen. And Scott, that's why I called you the other day uh, and said, hey, you know, I know that you know way more about this stuff than I do. Uh, we, you know, we met one night in a bar in Philly <laughs> and we gazed into each other's eyes. And over, over a nice glass of scotch. Oddly, Andy Schreiber was there with us. Yeah, he was the third oh, wheel. Wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's never the third wheel. <laughs> and, and Scott, I don't know if you remember, there was a woman we met there that night that was trying to get my business. Yes. Like she was trying to, she was a um, marketing uh, professional. Marketing or something. Uh, I maybe and about she, oh my God. And then, and then I felt like I wasn't giving her time because we were all having fun. And there was a restaurant right there on the thing. I said, all right, let's go have dinner. And from the moment we sat down, she started her sales pitch at dinner. <laughs> I was sitting there going, oh my God. Can I be anywhere right now <laughs> except for, can I go back with the guys in the other room and have scotch again? You know? Well, the problem with that was I could have predicted that. I could just tell by her old school style. And I felt bad, but I'm like, this is, this is between you. You were there on business. I'm like, I, I'm a marketing professional too. And I'm like, uh, I'm going to back off. I'm going to let whatever happens, happens. It was, a friend, it was a friend of a friend that sent her. And she but what's was, the old school style? I need to know. She was, doing, she was, she was doing that thing. Uh, I don't know if she did it while we were sitting there, but later on she got into, she goes, can I be completely candid? Whenever someone says God. they're going to be candid with candid. you. Mm-hmm. I was thinking of candida. Yeah, yeah, can I be candid? Can I be honest? <laughs> And I went, yeah, and she, she looks across the table, she leans in and she goes, you're the brand. You're the brand. Look, yeah, we know I, that. <laughs> yeah, even I know that, and I'm an idiot. You know? <laughs> and, you know, these other people around you and all this stuff, I'm like, what other people? I don't even have people. You know, at the time I had Tallulah and a guy named Buzz. And, you know, it's like, where are my people? The so people you know, comes out of the woodwork eventually, sooner or later. Yeah, yeah, but look, Serena's right. Um, Over the past couple of years, uh, Serena knows all the stories. Uh, People from the beef industry, from the egg council, from uh, dairy. If you start taking money from those people and you do, it's kind of like that study that keeps coming out that says pasta will make you skinny. Brought to you by (laughs) Barilla. You know, Barilla and the Italian, the Italian government got together with Barilla to do this study. And miraculously, it will they tell say you. Pasta is good for you. Pasta is not only good for you, but the more you eat, the skinnier you get. Right. Brought by the guy who makes pasta. You know, Shocking. I did not want to do that documentary. If you look at, you know, they try to hide it, but when you look at Fox Over Knives or Cowspiracy or any of those, or the, the more recent one, uh, uh, What the Health, Kip, the, the guy at the beginning of the movie, he does this thing and it flows over everyone's head, but I just want to make a point. He goes, Hey, I'm just a guy. And I was out there looking to get into better shape and to good health. And I went down this road and this is what I found. No, you didn't. You are bought and paid for <laughs> by PETA and vegans and everyone else, every other Yahoo who wants to be a do-gooder in the world is, is, is paying for you. Don't lie to me and tell me that you were just a guy walking down the street and decided you wanted to get healthy. That is a complete lie. Right. I didn't mean to go on a rant here, but. <laughs> that's, not, that's, a, that's a valid rant. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people ranting about way more ridiculous things than this. <laughs> this is a totally yeah. valid rant. Everyone talks about, you know, you see the politicians, you know, they talk about transparency and autonomy and I mean, all this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it, transparent. I'm, I've been transparent this entire time. Yet I'm not running for office. Go figure. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, um, while you got, we, we're having this rant. I'm literally having uh, having so much fun with technology right now. I have to keep relaunching this live yeah. feed to Facebook. It's so frustrating. They, like Facebook will not let us hold open a consistent wow. video. So. Uh, 
have saying, you noticed that serena yeah yeah I, I stopped paying attention to it because it was distracting me for now. i just keep i just keep clicking i just keep relaunching it if i have to i'll get a video editor to pull all the raw files and chop it together i don't give up we are going to get this message out there yeah, i appreciate it, <laughs> it i'll deal with the back end stuff because either way this is still going to get aired fyi Vinny, i reached out to my uh, i have an editor overseas and uh, I think he's in Bosnia or somewhere. I don't know. But I have already messaged him like, listen, I was like, I've got a hot rush on a new podcast. Because we're, we're normally I'm like two weeks out. You're like two months out. So I'm bumping everybody out. That way I can get this live tomorrow. So yeah, you are, you are now becoming tomorrow's podcast episode. So should we be talking about how people can contribute and become part of this project? Absolutely. Because hold on. That are involved. I, I'm reliving this and now I'm going to screen share for you. Hold on a second here because I did something that I wanted to do. And oh, so, so when did you guys launch that special custom t shirt? When did that happen? Which one? Which one? The, we have so many t shirts. The $100 option. Well, we did that. You know, the $100 option was something else. Because um, I just bought one. Boom. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There's, there, there's 100 in, in the pot right there. <laughs> I promised you guys I was going to do it live on here, and I literally just hit – it, it wouldn't hide my credit card info, so I didn't want to hit live until I hit save and bought it. <laughs> I was like, you know, the, the, the online world doesn't even know my credit card info. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Man, Thank Facebook you. keeps kicking me off. Oh, well. I think it was, a, it was an afterthought because we were doing something else and we were trying to do this lottery thing and it turns out we couldn't do that. And I said, what would be a cool thing? And, you know, people like t-shirts of movies, right? Yes. Um, but we said, what if we make one movie t-shirt that's exclusive to the people who gave, right? Yes. Because How can you know, we get this back? So our t-shirts have always been really good. Um, or pe like the one Serena has on right now, the Torta Bitch t-shirt. Torta yep. Bitch, baby. Um, the, all of that stuff comes from fans. You know, some of the women fans started calling themselves Torta, Torta bitches. bitches. And I thought it was a ridiculous idea, but people love that t-shirt. Oh, you mean like this fan shirt? Yeah, oh, that, that was the number one Sonic t-shirt. Bacon and eggs, time. baby. So yeah. let, me, let me stop sharing here. But FYI, with my donation, you're, I mean, you were already actually, I was trying to make sure mine got you over 15,000, but somebody Thank already beat me you. to it. Yeah. So, We've officially crossed the threshold today of your 10% goal. So Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. But yeah, um, I mean, it's shirts like this. Like I, I wear this to my CrossFit gym because people are like, okay, apparently you really like bacon and eggs. I'm like, yes, because cereal is crap. Um, I don't care how many vitamins you spray on, on a manufacturing assembly line. <laughs> you know, we, we sold so many of those that we ended up making a second version of it. Um, and, and, you know, I, all of the t-shirts are done very simply. Um, I talk about, like, I'll say something on Twitter or somewhere, and somebody will go, that should be a t-shirt. And then we just go and make it, we call up this kid, Ruel Abadam, who's a big fan. He's kind of like you, you know, he's a fan of what we do and willing to help out. And I'll go, Ruel, here's the saying, make it look good on a t-shirt. And uh, that's what he does. He did the Torn Bitch t-shirt that Serena has on. Yep. Uh, he's done most of them. He did the original, the, 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 the uh, original Angriest Trainer in SNG t-shirt that people still buy, uh, that one. Uh, so, yeah, you know, we, <laughs> I, I use t-shirts to pay for everything around here, around the podcast. Well, I mean, uh, you got to monetize sooner or later in the right way. And, you know, you and I are kind of on the same front where it's like, everybody's like, oh, how come you haven't monetized your podcast yet? I'm like, listen. Not every podcast has to be monetized, all right? <laughs> and yeah, it's, it, if you're going to do it, do it in the right way. Do it to support right. something. No, I mean, it depends whether it's, if, if it's, if it's your livelihood and if you're yes. spending your time working on this, investigating, interviewing, promoting, paying people, you know, it, then obviously one should get paid for one's work. I mean, you know. Well, the world today doesn't, kind of how it works. You know, the world today doesn't seem to really follow that, that logic, but. At the end of the day, uh, it's not about getting rich. You don't get rich on doing T-shirts unless you're Jeff Foxworthy and you put a bunch of, you know, I, I think, that, you know, he made his first million by putting 10 of his jokes in the back of a T-shirt. <laughs> um, you might be a red, you know, like, yeah. so, yeah, uh, you know, nobody's getting rich around here and nobody cares about getting rich. All we care about is 
getting a message out there. And uh, I, I think I think we've been fairly successful at, at doing that. We just want to take it to the next level now. And that's that's what we're doing here. We want to be able to movie. share all the information that Vinny has gathered over all of his years, working with people and helping them really change their lives. Yeah, I mean, people watch, who get to watch this and, and hear it on the podcast tomorrow when I air this, um, they have to understand you've put some time into this. This is not just, a, oh, this is just another you know, personal trainer out there. I mean, you've been on my podcast multiple times. I promote you to people all the time because, I'm, I mean, some people are like, oh, well, you don't have to be in an industry for 30 years to know a lot. I'm like, yeah, it does help <laughs> because six years of running your podcast, you've met so many positive, amazing, healthy influencers. Like, you've brought so much knowledge to the table now. Uh, yeah, you know, everybody, when, when that movie um, that just came out, The Magic Pill, people were yelling on Twitter, everybody who's ever been in your podcast is in that movie. Why aren't you in it? It's like, well, number one, no one asked. They don't need Vinny when uh, they have all this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all of Vinny's guests. But yeah, it was a who's who from my uh, Friday show. You know, they had Nina Tai shows, Maria uh, Zaboros. Tim Noakes, uh, I, I think uh, Fung was in there. Um, What's the name of that doctor, on, uh, the farmer on there? The um, one that runs up for I, I don't sustainable know. He, farming. He's the only one that's not been on my show. I'm, um, I'm a little bit in love with him, I have to admit. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've got a bit of a crush on him. Yeah, we, we believe Dr. in crush. farming and, Dr. and crush, ethical. Exactly. Um, but yeah, you know, it's been a lot of, you know, like everybody that was on my show was in that show, was in that movie. And people said, well, haven't they done your movie? And the answer is no. Uh, I love that movie, The Magic Pill. Uh, I think everyone should watch it, but guess what? All they did was open the door. And when I say open the door, they didn't open it wide. They cracked it. They mm -hmm. cracked the door. They left so many questions to be answered to where if that movie got anyone's whistle wet, my movie will just, you know, it's going to be like sticking a, a, but a, isn't a lemon in the Load. Pete Evans, isn't he Tasmanian? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Okay, oh, so, so wasn't he up against Fecky? Well, no, he would be no. in the same same park as. Oh, no, yeah, no, sorry. Uh, yeah. He's not up against him. That, that guy is really good. Uh, okay, good. Evans. But by the way, the Evans guy would have been my role in that movie had they asked me. But, but they but, were doing a whole thing. It, it, the whole movie was about Tasmania, not Tasmania, but Australia and mm -hmm. that. Whole but they can only say so much, Vinny, because look what they did to Fecky. Yeah. Right, they shut Fetsky you know, right I down. Mean, I mean, yeah, I mean he, he, had to, he had to move his blog into his wife's name just to keep it going. It's terrible. Yeah, because they said that it's if we kept doing it, a witch hunt. it, what's going on? And, and I want to highlight Fetsky. Um, that's why, we, look, if we make, I, I have ways to interview Fetsky over airwaves. If right. we somehow make more than $150,000, like if we make 10000 more than that, I'm taking a camera crew, even if it takes some of my money, to Fetke's house, because yeah. what's happened to that guy over in Tasmania? Why don't you tell everybody, because not everybody knows. Gary Fetke is a, a, a surgeon uh, who- Orthopedic surgeon. An orthopedic surgeon who was chopping people's limbs off who had type two diabetes. Wow. And he figured out that, hey, maybe I could chop less, less limbs off if I just educate these type 2 diabetic people to get rid of, because type 2 diabetes you can get rid of just by simply changing your diet. He started doing that. He started succeeding wildly, but the Tasmanian government decided, wait a minute, we don't want that. That's not good. We want you to just chop people's limbs off. Don't tell them how to get better. That's not your job. And they, they literally stifled him. They said, they censured him. They said, if you continue to do this. Well, he had to go to court. Oh, he, he went to court. Him, right? he, he got sued. He was he, prosecuted. It cost him government. a ton of money, his yeah. own money. His life was ruined. Uh, and now the guy has to just keep his mouth shut and chop people's limbs off. But he can't do that. Gary Fetke is a hero. This right. guy. He's working through his wife. Same with Timothy Noakes in South Africa. Uh, e even crazier is Tim Noakes. I know. I just interviewed uh, Tim. He'll be airing. Well, he was going to air in the next week, but I'm moving him back for you guys. <laughs> Tim, look, as you know, Tim was one of the early people in my show. I have over a thousand shows out. Tim Noakes is on in the first 50 shows. And uh, he's been on my show probably five or six times. 
As a matter of fact, he had a podcast, and when he first started going through his court battle, I did his podcast for him a half dozen times uh, just to help him out. You know, I, I hosted it for him. What's going on with that guy is crazy in South Africa. He's getting people healthy, and they're saying, no, 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 no. We don't want that. It, it's a conspiracy that you cannot ever imagine, and it's on the highest level. Who and is it? Who, who is it? Who's hang on. I'm not a conspiracy, uh, a conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theorist. Yeah. You know, I don't believe in, in that stuff. But well, you don't, you don't need to believe it. We see it. it. That's happening over there. They've, they drug his name through the mud in the court systems. And they're doing it again. Because yeah. as they say, you, they, we have no double jeopardy in this com- country. They're taking it. He was cleared of everything. But they just decided to do it again. And they're going to do it again. What yeah, I don't that? understand that because he and I were talking about that. And I said, you know, wait a minute. They lost. The courts, ga- the courts you know, gave it in Tim's favor. It's like, just throw it out. And they don't want to give up. Yeah. Why? But the question is, why? Right. That is the question. Because Some, somebody's flipped the bill to keep it going. And right. that is why... Vinny's part, Vinny's documentary is important because Vinny is going to show why. You see, I'm the only guy they can't get to. You know, you can't deal with a crazy man. And I'm a crazy man. But we also have freedom of speech. <laughs> yeah, we have a little something. That's why, that's why Michael Grieger can say an egg is five cigarettes. <laughs> and then, <laughs> because, you know, those are the guys that need to be censored, but they're not. So, you know what, Grieger, you want to be crazy? I'm twice as fucking crazy as you. <laughs> you know, and I'm succinct, and I have a message, and I know what I'm doing, and I'm going to get the truth out there. The people need to see the truth. Hell, uh, our president just put Memon Oz on his health committee. Right. Memon Oz. Uh, Oz? Oz, Dr. Yeah. Oz. Yeah, a oh, guy God. who tells people to take raspberry ketones one day the next day, he tells people you got to eat grains to be healthy. And the next day, he tells you you have to eat meat to be healthy. He, he doesn't take a stand on anything. He takes a stand on nothing. Because no. he's a paid spokesperson. He's a That's big why. giant. He's the world's biggest whore. Yeah. Stormy Daniels looks at him and blushes. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> no, he's not allegedly. He's the world's biggest slut. He will say anything for money. Like I said, Stormy Daniels looks at him and goes, wow, you are a slut. Look at you. You'll do anything. And that's who we have on the President's Council for, for Health and Fitness. It, it makes absolutely no sense. Uh, and what's crazy is, like, why, why didn't the people elect that? Like, who, who makes those decisions, right? Like, I would not have picked Oz to be an advisor. Like, I don't every understand that. It, it, every president gets to pick that. Um, well, I, I think, oh, I, I, yeah. Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger got to do it for a while. A, a, a noted drug abuser. You know, look, I love Arnold like the next guy. Great guy, great, you know, great movie star and the whole thing. I was a big fan when I was a kid. But he abused steroids his entire life. And this is the guy that's giving advice for the yeah. President's Council on Physical Fitness. It makes no sense to me. Yeah. It well, makes maybe, no but sense. He may have learned a lesson. I mean, there is that. Let's not be so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just hope that he takes that position very seriously and does finally take proper stands on the right things uh, no. in this role. No, How can he? Driven. He can't talk out of both. He can't say one thing in, you know, to the government and then go on his stupid daytime show that Oprah got for him and say something different. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's not how it works. Right? Yeah. Hmm. It's true. It doesn't work that way. I mean, but again, back to this project, that's the beauty of what you guys are doing is that, Hey, we're not hiding anything. I love how Serena clarified that earlier. Like, yeah, I mean, honestly, like I was, I was joking around with Peter, your director. And I yeah. said, you know, uh, how cool would it be? Cause I recorded a podcast with him yesterday. I'll be airing him. So I'm going to, I'm going to air you th- this, this feed that we're doing right here, right now. Literally we're going to rush it out to production and get it out tomorrow. And then we're going to air Peter on Friday. So that way there's no delay. We, we need steam. We need momentum behind this because I love what Serena clarified. She's like, yeah, we could go and get funding from like the beef companies or, um, I mean, heck, I love Kerry Gold. You love Kerry Gold. Grass-fed butter from Ireland. It'd be cool to get them to sponsor it, right? Yeah, but then, Absolutely. But then, yeah, it just doesn't work. We want this for the people, by the people. Yes. And 
that's what we're shooting for. And, yeah. and honestly, <laughs> Vinny, you and I talked about this on our strategy chat. I, I was just in, in the movie theaters a couple weeks ago and seeing the new release of Super Troopers. Okay, total big, uh, I guess you're in California, you get it. I like guess it's, it's a stoner comedian movie. And right. the only reason why the second one came out is because they did a crowdfunding campaign. They said, hey, if you guys want us to make a second movie, let's help pay for it. And they pulled it off. So they proved that you can do it. Oh, yes. oh, by the way, a couple of things I want to tell you about our crowdfunding. Yes. Uh, right now, we have a little over $15,000 in there, right? Already, and, you, and technically tomorrow is your full launch. Uh, yeah, when this, when this comes out, will be our actual real launch, number one. Number two, we are number one in movies that is being crowdfunded right now on Indiegogo. That's right? awesome. I'm saying that correctly. We were earlier on. We That's were number one about, about an hour ago. We're, we're going to look to make sure. Um, we've already. I'm going to look right now, and if so, I'm going to screen share. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that. I didn't even realize they had a film category so easily able to be brought up. It, it, was, it was brought to my attention first by Peter, uh, the director, and then. Here you guys go. You're number one right now. We're number one right now. Right what? there. I, I clicked on the film category. I'm screen sharing right now for the video feed. Yeah. And boom, right here. Yeah. You're the first one that comes up. Yeah. And, and by the way, um, when Peter Pardini made me aware of this this morning, we were number three. Tallulah, uh, our daughter, told us about two hours ago that we were number two. Mm -hmm. And now we've inched all the way up to number one. Well, I think it's also based on the fact that, look at your campaign shows 31 days left. You only have a 30 day campaign, but because you turned it on early just to do a soft launch to see if yeah. anybody wanted to help get some momentum. And yeah. obviously, yeah, we're big fans and followers. Of course, we're going to help give you some momentum. So this is well, exciting. I'm very grateful. I have, I'm so excited. I have to be more truthful. We opened it up yesterday, not so much for a soft launch, but to see if we actually- To make sure it was working. Sure it was working. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, it, let's be real. Technical difficulties can happen. You know, it, it, look, look, look at today. I've had to relaunch this live feed multiple times. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I want to focus on having a great show with you guys. And then as soon as this is done and the video processes, I'm going to post it tonight uh, back out to everybody because okay. that way they already have access to this video before the podcast even airs tomorrow. Uh, I don't want to slow anything down. As much momentum as we can go, I'm going for it. So, And I appreciate it. And by the way, I want to thank you on air, um, on your podcast, on this live feed. When I called you the other day, Scott, you were, you were Johnny on the spot because I was, you know, I was getting information from people. I was like, how much do people normally give? And how does this work? And how does that work? Because I truly don't get any of it. <laughs> and I said, I need to talk to a guy who knows how to talk to me. And I called you, and we, you, you calmed me down. We talked for about an hour. And then later that evening, you sent me an oh, email yeah, with like amazing. 10 links. And I said, so helpful. I said, you said no paragraphs. You said bullet points only. I was like, okay, yeah. all right. I had to rewrite that thing three times. You have no <laughs> idea, Scott, how helpful that was. Because I hate, when people, I, I hate when people just send me all the stuff and said, just give me the bullet points. And it was bullet point link, bullet point link. I said, Serena, look at this. She goes, oh my God, who did all this? I said, some idiot in, in PA, Scott Mulvaney. He just did all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, this, 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 this crazy guy. He's, uh, yeah. That's all he is. We can't get that kind of help out of people we, we write checks to. Well, you know why? Because right here, like, here's another example. Because you're the guy who taught me how to do this. Yeah. My bottle is, I mm. where's my bottle of Where's my blue bottle? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I would had to, I had to lubricate the vocals with some Villa you know Capelli. It works. Those right here. Amazing. I got my BC right here. Dude, you need to order their small. We're, we're literally giving Villa Capelli a plug right now. Uh, th this is their this is their bottle. This oh, is their. Do they have a small bottle now? Yeah, they've had it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, but we get we yeah. have three liter ten sitting at Anna's uh, house right yeah. now. Well, I see they well, last time I ordered they didn't have any three liter tens, so I ordered a couple bottles of their organics, and then I ordered a ton of these. So. Uh -huh. You know, uh, because I needed this for that Tuckerman Ravine ski adventure a few weeks ago that I did up in New Hampshire. I'm like, I need my fats because I have like a two hour hike and everything else it was crazy. You know, what's crazy is um, I, I went on a four hour mountain bike ride with this one. So it was 100 degrees out here the other day. I drank most of it. It's rancid. It's down to here. I'm still drinking it. It's I was going to say, you're, this, is, this is a 100 milliliter bottle. So that's got to be like a half of what I have. This is two ounces. Yeah. Uh, I sell these on my um, on my influencer page in Amazon. Without I saw that. 
Yeah. yeah without, it, it doesn't come with the oil. Um, quite useful, actually. Yeah, yeah. they give you like, t you get like 10, 12 of these for like 10 bucks, you know. So when you break them, you know, you just grab the next one and go. Yeah. Well, I mean, so, so listen, real quick, because I know you've got to be on the Drew show shortly, right? Yeah, so see, we got a five minute countdown. I'm going to screen share again here because I know Serena was excited. I mean, we want to plug this as much as possible because people need to know about it. But if people haven't gone to fatdocumentary.com, uh, or again, we just actually proved to you live on the video feed that you could just go to Indiegogo and click on the film section because we're boom, right at the top. But anyway, fatdocumentary.com takes you right to it. Already over 15,000. And just for time standing purposes, because I'm going to air this tomorrow, this is, we're recording it live right now. It is 5.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, May 6th. He's already exceeded his 10% goal and we haven't even fully launched until tomorrow. This is awesome. And you guys got a lot of good perks in here. You got some $5 options. Oh, yeah. um, this, this is important. People need to understand, Serena, you were very passionate when you said this. Like, this is for the people by the people. This means that for five bucks, you could be a part of something greater. Yeah. Right? Something greater that will be useful and health saving for humankind until we don't exist anymore. And God willing, that will never happen. But, you, but it will. It, forever yeah. and ever and ever. Yeah. Uh, this is revolutionary. Um, I'm loving it. Yeah, I guess. Further, honey, because uh, some of the perks are pretty damn funny. Oh, I know. I got to go down here because. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to figure out what I could get for a hundred bucks and I forgot you launched a t-shirt and there, there's our wonderful guest today, Serena. I love that. The new headshot is awesome, by the way. Um, I think somebody on the feed earlier today said she just absolutely loves your hair. So there, and like, here we go. I got to zoom in. I got to zoom in right here on this one. So. Yeah. So there's a story behind that. So when Vinny first came to LA, he was uh, training people. That's zoomed in for you there, Vinny. <laughs> and trying to get his own radio show, weirdly. So someone said to him hey you know you can do some modeling you can make some money he was like ah who me a model get out of here anyway so he ended up doing it because he had the best abs in la and still does don't you darling yeah um but anyway so he ended up doing this campaign for this jewelry store and the con i never know how to say it conch conch shell i just try to tie the words together star amongst Vinny's fans and somebody's so, already somebody already bought one yes so yeah. one, and perk, all of all of the digital things name in the credits and all of that and a signed conch shell oh, yeah, i love it as it turns out conch um shell. when i show up to you know when i travel around people always know where i am and sometimes in certain towns just like we met up uh in, in philly yep. uh, i met a bunch of people a couple of weeks ago in um how you say uh, Seattle, and um, one of the people I met in Seattle, uh, I'm going to give you her name in just a second, right here. Uh, what's her name? You see her name here? Hmm. No, you scroll that fast. All right, Courtney. <gasps> Courtney that Sutterman. That yeah, that, that, is... That's before and after. Can, can you show her that? Can you show that? Yeah, I don't camera? know if the camera can see this, but this is uh, this is. Oh, hold on. Let me stop sharing so that shows up bigger. Uh, right. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, she's one of your before and afters. She's one of my How before and afters. How long did it take it to get like that? That's Not very long. And her husband, wow. her husband was there too. He kept saying, um, "Man, thank you, thank you, thank you. You you saved our lives." She's beautiful. You know? Look at she her. She is a beautiful woman, and. Um, wild isn't it? she she showed up with a conch shell <laughs> and uh had me sign it so pull up that page so, again so she inspired so she inspired this um hold on a second, let me let me screen share again so she inspired that little promo was that where you got that idea from pretty much yeah she did yeah so also like, like there you go sign <laughs> conch shell we are inspired a lot by the, the response from people scroll down a little bit more if you don't mind afterwards okay, okay. Yeah, because it goes way down. Oh yeah, I was. Uh, I know uh, that Sarah hooked up. Got okay. hooked up. Various different, various different um, consults. So the this one is um, the Skype consult is where you know you'll be on Skype or FaceTime. Or oh, here we go. In home. Use and you will show Vinny around your fridge and your pantry. That's and smart. Show you what you need to throw out. You yeah. know what you, can, you know. I'll be there too, and you can help. You know, I know stuff that is a good substitute. You know that kind of stuff. Then if you go down to the next one, oh wait, no, I'm sorry, that one there. I beg your pardon. That ten thousand one. That yeah. 
Vinny and I fly to you. Yeah, that's powerful. In home. Uh, Sorry. Uh, yeah, you were just talking about this one here, the consult with Vinny in LA. You got no, but there's another one that's cheaper. Oh, uh, hold on. That would be oh the one oh, the virtual. Here we go. One thousand. That's the virtual one. Then the next one, the five thousand. If you give five thousand, uh, twenty five hundred, you get a consult, personal consult, and dinner with us in the LA, close to Calabasas area. There you go. Um, and then one more down there. Five thousand. Five thousand. You get a con. Oh no, that's the dinner. Well, those are the same. We need to change that. No, is that the no this has got the in-person consult with Vinny. So oh, okay. it, it, it also in LA and then dinner afterwards. So Okay, so then 10,000, we come to your house. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And so what we'll do is we'll go into people's houses. We'll look in their fridge. We'll look in their pantry. And you're not allowed to throw things out first. And- <laughs> oh, they can. I don't well, you care. can, but we'll, but we'll go through This everything. is not about trying not to go the there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, a lot of people, when I talk to them and I do the consults over the phone right now, they'll go, oh, yeah, I'm completely an SNG. And then I'll go through their pantry with them and have them, you know, just over the phone. And I have them throwing out literally sometimes a garbage bag full of stuff. Right. Like, oh my God, I had no idea. And, you know? And, 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 you know, it doesn't mean that, you know, you can never ever have those things. It just means usually in the beginning when you're switching over, you really need to be very, very clean with it because you reset your metabolism. But um, so, so that's a really fun one. And we're really hoping that, that somebody does that so that we can go and do that. And then there's another one. Doesn't she look amazing? Yeah, yeah she's incredible. She, I want to make sure we really showed her off better because your, your, your phone helped, but obviously... <laughs> Yeah, your feed on Instagram helps more. <laughs> God bless her. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, then there's um, the star in your own documentary. So that's really, really funny. So, so we'll come to your house and we'll do all of the above and we'll go to the grocery store with you and help you restock your, your fridge and your pantry. But also, we want to make a little mini documentary about you and your journey using pictures from before and after and your lifestyle today and working with you a little bit on camera and to edit it into a little mini documentary about you and your And message. hopefully, yeah, not, not just do it for you, but we are planning on putting it out there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it's this is something that's, this is for people who yeah. they want to, they're trying to leave a legacy behind, right? Like, and what better way to do it than professionally document it and then work with people like yourselves who have a bigger audience to get that out there. So, yeah. so, what, so one of the things that we're going to do, and we haven't sorted it out, really yet but we encourage people to start referring other people to this so that um they can they can donate too because the person that refers that that generates the most donations the highest number in money of donations will get their will get that perk Mm. um or any perk of lower value if they prefer it. Sure. Um, so we're going to have a referral contest as well. Later well, that, that's, that's actually very powerful and a great idea. Because again, exactly. going back to crowdfunding, that's what this is all about. By the way, for it to count. For the referrals, when you send to other people, it has to go through your Indiegogo account. Otherwise, you won't get credited for it. Right, right. Um, well, yeah. Scott, um, I'm, I'm texting back and forth with uh, Susan Pinsky. They're waiting for me. Oh, I know. She, she messaged me too. I told her, I'm like, hey, I know. Vinny and I, this happens all the time. We try and get you off on time. So... Um, Listen, you're a busy man. Let's get you. Let's get you on the Drew show. He's got a bigger following than I do. I'll get to work on the video and the audio to get this stuff out ASAP. So you're up live tomorrow. So because I'll help you with uh, with Corolla. Like, hey man, here you go. There's another live podcast out there too. So you got more. You have more stuff to keep saying. They're not going to. They're not going to question your momentum. Well, hopefully we could get it all going. And um, you know, I, I can't thank you enough. And it's time we have you back on my show. You're always a, a big draw. People like when you're on. I think it's because you're single and you're eye candy. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm technically engaged. So, uh, yeah, oh, but, yeah. the ladies yes. like to be, you know, with the girlfriend, you know, fell off of a mountain on a ski trip, this kind of thing, you know, and then Scott's available. You know, that kind of that's, thing. that's true. I, I, that's I, true. I, I never want that to happen, but yeah, <laughs> things, things happen. I appreciate that. And then, yeah, let's definitely get that scheduled. Uh, especially if we can start, it's just, especially if we can get it, you know, get something going and talk more about this. So, uh, I'm okay. happy to support you guys. Well, thank, thank you. you. Get, get to Drew, get, keep taking action. I'll get this out there. And again, ladies and gentlemen, fatdocumentary.com. Take action. This is something that you can truly influence and help impact world health. Uh, let's get this movie going.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Have fun with Drew. I'll talk to you again soon, Vinny. All right. Bye. Take care.